Hey, it's time for a new adventure. If you've been watching my videos, you know I spent the last two weeks at Blue Water Lake State Park rekindling some childhood memories and casting my parents' ashes 17 years after their passing. It's never too late. And that was a big success. But now I'm moving on to higher elevations and cooler weather. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. The high today is supposed to be 67, and I think it's probably in the low 60s right now. It was quite an adventure getting here. I left on Friday from the Blue Water Lake State Park, and instead of stopping in Grants to get propane, where I had gotten propane the last time, I decided I would wait because I had a doctor's appointment in Albuquerque Friday afternoon, and I also had plans to meet up with my sister for lunch, or for dinner, rather, Friday night. And so I um, splurged and uh, got a hotel room for Friday night. So I went to my doctor's appointment, and I had dinner with my sister. It was very nice catching up with her. We haven't seen each other in almost two years and had a good night's sleep. However, the next morning, I did not stop to get propane in Albuquerque. I should have, because if you've ever traveled in an RV on a weekend, you will discover that it's very hard to find places that are open that sell propane, especially in Northern New Mexico. So I drove from Albuquerque and went to Springer, visited with some friends there. And you may or may not know, I used to own the old ho uh, Brown Hotel building there. And I had an art gallery and I sold it last September. So after I had lunch with my friend, Nancy, she actually bought me lunch for my birthday. Yes, my birthday is today, the day that I'm posting this video. I'm 67 years old today. So happy birthday to me. So while I was in Springer, I met the people that bought the hotel and they were very nice people. I call them the rescuers of hotel. And uh, they actually, I, I left a whole lot of furnishings and, and things behind and, that were included in the hotel sale. And one of those was a Yeti Gold Zero 500 watt solar battery and 100 watt rigid solar panel. So they told me they did not use those and they would give them back to me. So I happily accepted. So I went and visited them and they showed me around what they've been doing with the place. It's now called Springer Station and it's a boutique hotel. You can book there through, I think, Airbnb and Booking.com and probably a whole bunch of other places. Anyway, Melissa and Steve Grogan are the people's names, and they're very nice. And I am just so happy and thrilled that they wanted to continue with the renovations on hotel, and they love it as much as I did. So... My plan had been to stay in Springer that night, that was Saturday night, but it was very hot in Springer and I had no propane to run the air conditioner, which is required um, to, to run the generator, which is required to run the air conditioner. So I thought, well, I'll just run over to Raton and get propane. Well, I was wrong. The propane place was not open on Saturday. Or Sunday. So my plans to spend the night in Springer were foiled. <laughs> I, I, I knew that there was a place to buy propane in Eagle Nest on a weekend because uh, last time I did van life we ended up kind of in a similar situation and we got propane at the Golden Eagle RV Resort in Eagle Nest. 
But on the way there, I, I looked at Cimarron, no propane. I drove past my campground that I'm at now. Uh, actually, my reservations didn't start until s Sunday anyway, so I couldn't have stayed here. Um, but if, I thought, if I can't get propane, I, I should be in a higher elevation where at least it's going to be cool enough to do without air conditioning and, and not too cold to where I would, would need the, um, the furnace. So I did stop at that RV park but the person that dispenses the propane was not working that day. So I tried Angel Fire. There's another RV park there that used to sell propane. Apparently they do not anymore, or at least they weren't open on the weekend. So I thought, well, there's a tractor supply in Taos. <laughs> so Taos is like 92 miles from Springer. That's how far away I had to go. And I then discovered that Tractor Supply does not yet sell propane. They are going to in the future, but they do not do it right now. So when I arrived in Taos, I discovered that they were under terrible construction in the downtown area there that right goes right down the main street and it was a cluster <laughs> it took me 30 minutes I, and you had to detour so I couldn't turn left to go to Walmart when I got up off, off the road that I was on coming from uh, Angel Fire so I had to detour around and finally was able to get back on the main road and go to the Walmart parking lot and luckily, the Walmart there does allow people to overnight park. And there were several, uh, there was a bus and an, another RV and a couple of vans and a bunch, bunch of cars that were obviously going to stay the night overnight. So my, uh, my camp situation was not the best Saturday night. <laughs> and sleeping in the Walmart parking lot is, is never my ideal but at least it was not too hot and I was able to sleep comfortably. And I got up the next morning and thought I would uh, show you what the construction looks like in Taos. So if you're planning on a trip to Taos anytime soon, be aware that the construction is gonna be a pain in your butt. So the next morning, I went to back to Eagle Nest to the Golden RV Park, uh, RV Park, and luckily the guy was there, and I was able to get propane, and I discovered that they have a little cafe there, and they had a little pastry display, so I also got uh, cheese Danish and a walnut cinnamon muffin. So I will be going back there because I probably have to go back there for more propane before I leave here. But once I got my propane, things were good again and I was able to enjoy my travels. Although I did enjoy seeing the countryside Saturday night while I was driving around looking for propane. <laughs> but it's just a lot more comfortable when you don't have anything to worry about. So my whole goal in getting here was to be able to get into the Cimarron River and take off my shoes and put my feet in there and that's the plan. So stick around and see if I make it. Okay, keep on watching. Watch to the end. I got a lot of campground stuff to show you.
tumbleweeds. I am at the Cimarron River near Eagle Nest, New Mexico, and I have been dying to go walk along the edge of the river, so I'm going to take you along with me. I hope you can see the river behind me. And I hope you can see these little cottonwood, pieces of cotton that are blowing from the cottonwood trees. They're driving my allergies crazy. <laughs> I've been sneezing all morning. I just wanted to take a little moment to sit here and enjoy the river. You know, I've been traveling in my van for six months now. The first two months I stayed at an RV park in Florida. And then from the last week in December through until uh, just this past week, I've been, well, a couple of weeks ago, I've been in Arizona in the desert and it's, uh, it's very dusty there. So it's kind of nice to where there's grass and trees and flowing water. Um, I mean, I was on the Colorado River for for a couple of days, but this is this is different. This reminds me of going on vacation with my parents when I was a little kid. We used to come here too, and I remember the roads were dirt and. We set up, we had one of those green army tents and my dad got up one morning and told us to come outside and look. And we were further down where the cliffs are a little bit more visible by the river. 
and he said, there's a bald eagle up there. And I, gosh, I must have been seven, seven or eight years old. I still remember that. Wish I could see a bald eagle now. Well, I wanted to take you for a walk along the river, but I have my campgrounds mixed up. It was the Maverick Campground it has a little trail that goes along the river. So I do have reservations there next month. So we'll get to take that walk sooner or later. Well, I'm gonna head back to the van, uh, starting to warm up here. I don't, we're very near Eagle Nest and my weather app says I'm in Eagle Nest, but I think it's a bit warmer here. The elevation's not quite as high as it is in Eagle Nest, which is over the top of those ridges right there. I'll show you that a little bit later, the, the drive when you come over the top of that last ridge into Eagle Nest is breathtaking. I wanted to show you this. At first glance, it looks like snow, but that is cotton from the cottonwood trees. That's what flying through the air and killing my allergies. It's pretty weird, huh? Almost looks like spider webs. I hope you'll enjoy some scenes from my campground. We'll see you next week.